Hello guys, this is Evan the Xenogears Enthusiast, and thank you for watching. We are playing a game of Domination on WMD, and I am using the dreaded FAMAS with Dolmag and Silencer. Warlord, Ghost, and Hacker all pro. Then I start this match off right by getting gunned down by that guy. Uh, this is a problem I have with Session in Progress. Um, I don't mind playing, but especially when it's not too terribly far in like this, I think this is probably like two minutes in. But, uh, I never know anyone's position, so even if the score is reasonable, I just don't know where I need to go, I don't know where we're holding, I just, I don't know what's going on, and it really puts you at a tremendous disadvantage, it'll probably get you a lot of deaths, we try to figure out what's going on, and you're probably already behind anyway. Now, for some games you just enter and <laughs> it's already over, you know, scoreboards, 150 to 30 on domination, you're like, well, I'm out. I'm gonna go here and try to cap A. So I don't really know what's going on still. I'm like, well, if I cap A, I'm contributing. So here I am. I know there's a lot of people around it, though. At least I perceive that there is. And I'm not going to just run up there and give them the uh, notification the flag is being capped so they can all pile on me and build their kill streaks. So I'm just going to hold back and uh, try to get some kills. I am actually pursuing the Attack Dogs contract of this game. As you know, I don't normally run the really high end kill streaks. I probably stop at Rolling Thunder at 8, because I think Rolling Thunder is the coolest. But recently here, I just don't know how to aim them as well as I'd like, and none of my friends seem to run um, spy planes or blackbirds, and don't get them frequently enough for me to get some really good targets. I aim them myself, you know. <sighs> never get more than three, and I'd really like to get a five-man spray with it, as I talk about every video. Uh, so I'm running the attack dogs to try to get the contract played, and because that's an 11 kill streak, I'm also running blackbird. Blackbird's a great way to get the uh, last couple kill streaks because you, know, you have to get all the way up at 8, but if you do Spy Plane at 3, Blackbird at 8, you have a lot of radar assistance to uh, sort of chain your kill streaks by finding people to shoot. You can't build a Modern Warfare 2 style, but you can still use them to help you get more, <coughs> which is what I'm doing here. And it's what everybody does. I see a lot of people doing like a 8, 9, and 11, which is of course Blackbird, Chopper Gunner, and Dogs or Gunship. I always use gunship because it's cooler. Well, it's more more fun to pilot anyway. But the attack dogs are neat too, watching your doggies run around. And those doggies are really cute. They're gonna eat people. Uh, yeah. So I don't use the FAMAS much, because I pretty say I don't like it, I don't like its recoil, and uh, I just don't like picking up weapon or equipping weapons that I find on the ground a lot, because I use a, I wind up using them just when I take them off dead people. But you know, here we are. I only use the sword for three hundred kills and I move on to the next and I haven't unlocked the Commando yet, I'm at like 43 at the time of this video, so... I'm a level away, the FAMAS was already unlocked from when a friend was over, and it's, that's all he uses. So, well, okay, I'll go ahead and get the 300 on this. That should take me up to the Commando, which I really enjoy. I'll roll with the Commando until I get 300 kills on that. Then I'll probably finish these, uh, this set of Prestige off with the AK-47. Not the AK-47U, the AK-47. Which is actually a really great uh, assault rifle, it just doesn't get a lot of love because of its bastard overpowered brethren child, the AK-47U. Uh, this game, I came in with the primary concern being the acquisition of my contract, but midway through I just started to really want to do well. I guess if you're getting attack dogs, you are doing well. Call my uh, Blackbird here and see this guy coming. I'm gonna free kill him. <laughs> I didn't know he was using his RCXD. Now I run away in fear that he's gonna come back and try to revenge kill me with it. I'm running out of ammo on my FAMAS, I'm down to 11 bullets, and it's like, wow, I need, need another kill, so I can't get, like, a long-distance spray, I'll probably run out of ammo. Yeah, you guys ever try to hit a lightweighter that's just running by? It's really hard to get enough bullets in him. Between the connection lag and the, um, the fact he just runs so damn fast, it can be really hard. Oh, and, uh, I think I'm on a 3-bar this game, remarkably. I'm doing really well for a 3-bar. Get him from the hip a little bit. <laughs> My eye in the spy achievement. Now, I, I luck out here, because this guy is an MPL uh, dual mag, and that's just a great weapon to come across. Uh, it's one of the better SMGs. Probably, in my opinion, it's the best next to the uh, AK-47U, obviously. So, I'm trying to wait back here and give me my last kill for my puppies. A little free kill it, but I don't think it's going to happen with my allies running up the side there, at least one ally. He'll sort of pull the traffic to him, because I don't think he really ran discreetly. So I'm trying to find someone, no one in the building, I don't see any ground level, and I'm afraid to like just start running around this area because there's plenty of places for people to pick you off from windows and cover, and really from across the level there in that little building everyone holds up in. 
Like, well, I'll just go up these stairs and maybe I can get somebody from up here. <laughs> I luck out and I see this guy right in front of me. Spray him down, get my contract, call my dogs, and I'm like, well, okay, I've got my contract, I've got my highest kill streak. Now it's time to start dying and, you know, winning the match. We have two flags now, so we're catching up, it's getting close. <coughs> I switch over this guy's Galeo, which is also a really fortunate weapon to come across. I'm really comfortable with it, I used it a lot last prestige, almost exclusively for 30 levels. But man, I loved it a lot. I don't think I took it off to unlock the commando. I'm still kind of trying to decide which is the better weapon. I feel like the commando is easier to shoot with, and the Galil's just got more power. I don't like the Galil silence, though, so... Now that I'm on my silencer binge, I'm probably going to run around with uh, the commando more and see if I like it silenced. Believe it or not, I've never silenced it, because I've never used silencers until this prestige. I use them a lot more on Modern Warfare 2, and I should go for nukes and things, but... Uh, you know, I don't do that so much here, and since I only run an 8 kill streak, I can get that pretty consistently without... Uh, silencer. I don't mind bringing some traffic to me. Get that guy through the metal grating there. That was pretty cool. Got my reflex set of cheat models out. I didn't know so close to that. Otherwise, I would have finished it off quickly with like the M16. Get that guy. Yeah, I think everyone should start uh, using the ACOG more. I think I'm going to start trying to use the ACOG more maybe next prestige a little bit. There's a lot of things I want to try next prestige, but the ACOG, uh, it was really nice on the M16. It's probably good on some other things. Now, in a minute here, I'm going to pick up and <laughs> an, a an ACOG to RPK and I don't know, it's just not going to work out. I've never been used the RPK. I use the RPD like crazy in Modern Warfare 2, so I thought the RPK is a similar name, it looks kind of like it. You know, it has to be just as good, right? No, not really. Check out that dude's infield, but it doesn't have enough ammo for me to really, run with it. really want to run with it. Really want to run with it. Yeah. So I don't know why I'm trying to hold this flag from here. This is stupid. I don't have the right equipment. Um, I think I'm coming on a power high after all these kills, and I'd like to just keep building this streak. There we go, I've got the incog, yeah! And yeah, look at that. It's bouncing all over the place, it doesn't have that much damage per shot anyway. Man, I just don't see why you want to use that. Not when you have things like the stoner and the M60. If you just want slow and powerful, get the M60, that thing's great. You put flak jacket on things so you don't get naded down. Yeah, that thing's, that thing's money. You grip it, of course. Uh, and if you're just looking to have a really powerful weapon, the stoner's a lot like the scar, actually. It fires real quick, good iron sight. Uh, very small clip. And the clip is fine, it's just it runs up its ammo. I didn't see that guy laying in the snow there right in front of me. Didn't notice that until doing this commentary, but <laughs> yeah. There's a guy right there in the snow laying on his stomach. Did you guys see him kill my ally? And then there's this guy that runs around and my ally runs there and knifes a bunch of them. Now I've died. Bam. Didn't even see him. I think my connection cleared up about at this point in the match, right near the end. Um, not really playing in lag anymore, which is pretty exciting. Of course, it's right at the end after I've already worked hard to get my puppies and everything. I have a really hard time with three bar connection. I, I have to camp a lot harder so I can always get the uh, advantage. And I have to camp a lot anyway to do well, but I have to camp a lot in a bad connection. And I find uh, domination hard to commentate sometimes because it's usually just a lot of holding flags for me. Probably easier for me to commentate these if I was running around uh, trying to cap a bunch of flags, but yeah, I don't do that. Fruit's kind of dry. I'm on Christmas break here, holed up in my room at the college, because I work over Christmas break for the college, and I gotta tell you, I don't have any food in here. If I go out, it's fast food, and I try not to eat that because, you know, it's killing me. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll just starve all break, lose a couple pounds. No, not really. I'm gonna get Burger King right for this commentary. <laughs> Get those guys, you know. That was a pretty bad setup they had running there. Get my spy plane, and the match ends right before I turn the corner here and try to engage the whole lot of them. Uh, thanks you so much for watching. I had a lot of fun with this match. You know, pretty solid final score, and once again, just because I'm not rushing flags does not mean I'm not playing the objective. Alright, thanks.